Yeah, this whole uh, this whole little war excursion into Libya, it already looks like it's not going so well. You know, and who who do these people think they are anyway? You know, uh, aren't we in a country where a Congress has to uh, declare a war on people? That's simply all this is. They want to say that, oh, well, the UN is very concerned. The UN and Hillary, are they're very concerned about human rights issues and all this. Yeah, really? Well, where, where were you in Darfur? Where were you in the Ivory Coast? And all these other places where people, where governments have been slaughtering their people for years. We haven't even heard a comment. But suddenly, the people of uh, Libya are just being brutalized by their president and they can't stand for that anymore yep where were they in the congo for that matter where were they in uh, waco where were they when uh the government was coming and attacking people at ruby ridge you know i mean wh where do you even go with this and uh they, what the un the un directs wars now just out of the blue well, these guys better hope that everything goes completely right. Because so far, I've seen the big news story where they launched 110 tomahawks. Well, what did that do? Have, did anybody have any idea? Because all I see is a bunch of anti-aircraft fire getting uh, going off at night. And it's probably uh, it's during the day, too. Just can't see it. We see the film at night. So what did all these tomahawks do? Anything? Take out all their air defenses? It doesn't look like it to me. And by the way, now, uh, Gaddafi's over there. I heard these early reports from people saying, oh, yeah, Gaddafi, well, well he's giving up now. He's real scared. And we got a, a report of a suicide attempt, and his doctors revived him and all this. I was listening to that night going, you know, what? People are crazy. Well, now, now he just gave a big speech saying, hey, you know what? I'm opening up my armories to all the people for when the invaders come in. You know, Gaddafi, he's not that much of a uh, of a of a bad, uh, unliked guy in his own country. He's really not. You know, sure, uh, sure, some people don't like him there. Is he probably the, is he a, a good guy? No, of course he's not. But there are those guys all over the world. As a matter of fact, why didn't the UN pass a resolution to go and invade Saudi Arabia? They're there murdering their people left and right. It's happening all over the place. So now we're in a war. As far as I'm concerned, this whole thing is just a, uh, it's a diversion. Because we're here with this coalition. Okay, the U.S., totally bankrupt with a currency that's collapsed 3% over the last week to its lowest levels in years now. Uh, we got the U.K. bankrupt. France, part of the US, uh, EU, bankrupt. And Denmark, completely bankrupt now who's on uh, Libya's side Russia China Iran and they're all warning they said they opened up a damn can of worms now and I think you know you know Hillary H Hillary wants to do this because she's got a freaking boner well Hillary Clinton's running the war she probably can't make a dozen freaking cookies and have them come out right but she's running the show you know no worries there. But, you know, this the whole thing just stinks, you know. I don't care if people are going to say, oh, yeah, you got to back the U.S. and all this. You know, uh, the Sunshine Patriots and all that, they go back and forth between getting it and being complete freaking sheep. Do you get it or, you, or do you not get it? That this shit is just all a complete uh, freaking show. Now it looks like this thing's probably going to go bad. You know, you don't go over to the Middle East and get involved in somebody's civil war. What, for humanitarian reasons? That's a bunch of garbage anyway. Yeah, we're involved in somebody's civil war now. And I guarantee you that Gaddafi, oh, he's going to find at least a, a couple million people that are willing to fight on his side, at least. And he's no slouch either. You know, Gaddafi, he's got one of the top militaries in the world as far as air defenses and weapons. Even Farrakhan, 
I heard him last night. Even Farrakhan is saying this is one of the most colossal mistakes ever. Even Farrakhan saying it. And, and Farrakhan told his audience, which you know it's all black people, he told them, you people watch out because the black people out there are going to be what you need to worry about in this country. He said, he said the white people in this country, he said they're mad, they're extremely well armed, and that's who you need to worry, worry about. Humanitarian missions. Yeah, where were you in? Yeah, forget the rest of the world that their dictators are blowing up people all the time. All the time. How about right here? Where did any of these people step up for humanitarian uh, means in uh, Waco, say? Uh, humanitarian. Yeah, we're right. Anyway, I don't know. Keep an eye on this stuff. See what happens next. And take a look at our uh, markets for tomorrow. A lot of black swans flying around, and I don't think people are too, I don't think people are too, uh, you know, uh, into all this. Yeah, we're the new world order. We're just going to march forward, take out whoever we want. Russia, China, Iran, you know, they're not on board with it. They're just sitting back watching. They say that they're disappointed in it, and they're just sitting back watching it. Anyway, we'll see what happens next. Thanks.